and it's another piece of Detroit's history up in flames. And yes, this massive fire here is forcing students to be relocated. Steel beams that supported the roof are visible after the fire raced across the underside of the covering of the 93-year-old building at Fenkel and Livernoy. Action News cameras were rolling when the roof was engulfed in flames starting at around 4 this morning. There were thunderstorms and lightning strikes at the time, and that is one possibility being looked at by investigators. As yet, no determination has been made on what caused the fire. Damari Green is a third grader at Malcolm X Academy, which shares the building with Paul Robeson Academy. I liked everything, everybody. I liked to see the principal. He was kind of like me. He was like kind of my uncle, because I knew him for a long time. And when he woke up, his first words is, I'm about to get up and get ready for school. And I'm like, oh, baby, I'm sorry. You know, the school on fire. And he was like, Mama, quit playing. And I'm like, I'm serious. Look. And he was like, oh, no. Malcolm X students and staff joined with Paul Robeson Academy for this school year. The 435 students will be moved to nearby Thurgood Marshall Elementary School to finish out the current school year. Classes will resume for those students at their new building on Friday. Fire did not damage the adjacent building known as Little Paul that houses the pre-K kindergarten program. It will reopen to students as soon as air quality is considered to be safe once again. Ray Flum brought pictures and shared memories of his time here. Flum learned of the fire while watching television as he exercised. Ray and his two brothers lived at what was then the St. Francis Home for Boys. My dad was a widower and he couldn't take care of the three, four, four kids. So us three boys spent about eight months to a year over here at the home. I was upset, kind of, and amazed at just uh, going way back how many years ago. You know, that, to me, that's 64 years ago. I'm 72 now. Again, this building, 93 years old. Firefighters poured an awful lot of water onto the building. They were here until about 4 o'clock this afternoon before the last rig uh, wrapped up for the day. The work is not done here, though. Investigators will continue to work through to the debris to try to determine a cause of this massive fire. For now, we are live on Detroit's west side. Dave Llewellyn, Channel 7, Action News.